In this lecture, we are going to create a special type of middleware called Param middleware. To create a Param middleware, on this router, we have a method called Param. So using this Param method, we can create a Param middleware. Now what is a Param middleware? Param middleware is a special middleware which only runs for certain route parameters. Now in our example, the only parameter which we might have in our URL is the ID parameter. Right. So using this param method, we can create a middleware which will only run when the value of the ID parameter is present in the URL. For that, to this param method, as the first argument, we need to specify the route parameter name. Here, the route parameter name is going to be ID. And then we can specify a middleware function. So here, I'm going to use this arrow function syntax to create a middleware function. And as we have learned, a middleware function receives a request object, a response object and the next function and along with that since we are creating a param middleware this middleware function is also going to receive a value parameter now this value parameter is going to store the value which the user has passed for this id parameter in the url okay so basically the fourth parameter here for this middleware function it is going to store the value of the parameter in question in our example the parameter in question is this ID parameter. So this value is going to store the value which the user has passed for this ID parameter in the URL. All right, inside this middleware function, for now, let's simply go ahead and log a message in the console saying that movie ID is, and then let's display the ID of the movie. So basically, the ID which we have received for this ID parameter. Now, that value we are going to receive inside this value parameter here. So let's copy this value parameter. And let's specify it here okay and since it is a middleware function we will also want to call this next method so that the middleware can be processed by the next middleware as well all right with this let's save the changes and let's go to postman and from there let's go to this get movie by id because as we learned this middleware function will only get executed if in the url we have a value for this id parameter Okay, so from the postman, I am going to make a request to get a movie object in the response by specifying an ID in the URL. So here I am specifying the ID as 5. So if I click on the send button, we have received the response. And if we go back to Visual Studio, there in the log you will see that this message movie ID is 5 has been logged here. If I go ahead and if I specify some other ID here, maybe 10. And if I click on the send button, so a get request will be sent. We don't have any movie with this ID 10, so we have received this 404 response. But still in the Visual Studio, we will see that movie ID is 10. So basically, we pass the value 10 for this ID parameter. So that 10 was stored inside this value parameter and that has been logged here. And as I mentioned earlier, this middleware function will only get executed for those URLs, for those endpoints where we have the value for this ID parameter. So if I go to Postman, and if I go to this get all movies and here, if I make a get request to this URL, in this URL, we don't have a value for the ID parameter. We are not specifying the ID value here. So in that case, if I make a request, this middleware will not be executed for that request. And that's why you will not see any message like movie ID is null or movie ID is undefined, something like that in the console. Okay, because this middleware has not been executed for the request which we have made to get all the movies okay so what's happening here is when we are making a request we are defining and using these middlewares here so on that request first of all this middleware will be applied and then this middleware will be applied then this logger middleware will be applied and then this middleware will be applied on the request now if i scroll down after this middleware this movies router is also a middleware so that middleware will also get applied on this URL, on this endpoint. Now we have defined this movies router inside this movies routes.js file. So from here, the control will go to this router. There, we are adding this middleware on the request. Now this middleware will only get added if the URL contains this ID parameter. Okay, if the URL does not contain this ID parameter, in that case, this middleware will not be applied on the request. After that, we have these route handler functions. So we have learned that these route handler functions are also kind of middlewares. So now 
these middlewares will be applied based on what type of request we have made that means based on the http method and also based on the url so let's say if the http method is get and in the url we have this id parameter in that case this route handler or we can say this middleware will be executed and it will be applied on the request otherwise if we are making a get request and in the url we don't have the id parameter in that case this get all movies route handler will be applied to the request okay so in the previous lectures we have learned that the order in which we define the middleware the middleware will be applied on the request in that same order all right now let's try to understand a practical use of this param middleware for that let's go to this movies controller and in there for some of the route handler functions we are also expecting a value for the id parameter for example we have this get movie function and this get movie function is going to return a movie object in the response based on the id which the user has passed in the url so in each of these functions where we are expecting this id parameter there we are also checking whether with that id a movie in the movies.json file is present or not for that we are writing this if statement here okay if i scroll down we should have the same thing for this update movie so here also we are checking if the movie with the id which the user has passed in the url with that id if the movie is present or not in the movies.json file and same thing we are doing here as well in case of delete movie so basically we are repeating the same logic in each of these three functions right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a param middleware here for that at the top let me go ahead and let me create a param middleware so on this exports object i'm going to create a method called check id and this check id method is going to be a middleware so here let's use this arrow function syntax and since it is a middleware function it is going to receive the request object it is going to receive the response object it is going to receive the next function and since we are creating a param middleware it is also going to receive the value parameter now inside this function the first thing which i am going to do is i am going to log this message so i'll copy it from here and let's paste it there inside this function and then i'm going to copy this logic from here okay and let's go ahead and let's paste it inside this middleware function and finally let's also call this next function okay now here we are using this return keyword and that's very important if the user has passed an id with which we don't have any movie in the movies.json file in that case we want to return this response and then we simply want to return we don't want to call this next function to call the next middleware in the stack as soon as we return the response we just want to exit if i don't use this return keyword in that case what will happen is this response will be sent but after that we are also going to call the next middleware in the stack and in that next middleware we might be sending another response and that will cause an error okay so it's very important that we use this return keyword here with this let's save the changes also let's go ahead and let's remove these if statements from here or what i will do is i will simply comment these if statements okay i will keep it for your reference from here also let's comment this if statement all right and in the delete movie also let's comment this if statement let's save the changes now let's go to postman and from there let's go to this get movie by id and here let's try to make a request to get a movie from the movies.json file and here i'm going to pass the id as 5 so we know that with this id we have a movie in the movies.json file so if i click on the send button we should receive that movie object in the response but here if i pass 10 we know that with that id we don't have any movie object in the movies.json file so in this case we should receive 404 in the response if i click on the send button here you can see the status code is 200 okay and in the data we are receiving an empty object so this is not what we wanted and the reason why we are receiving this here is because we have created a middleware here okay we have created this check id middleware but we have not applied this middleware on the request to do that let's go to this movies routes.js file and there let's remove this middleware function from here and let's use this check id middleware function so for that on this movies controller so let's use it here and on that we have a method called 
check id so let's pass that method as the middleware function and now if we save the changes let's go back to postman and there let me make a request to this id this id value 10 if i click on the send button so here we have this error id is not defined let's go back to vs code and let's go back to our middleware function in there we are using this id value and we are also using the id value here so here instead of using this id we can use this value parameter because in this value parameter we are going to receive the id which the user has passed in the url let's do the same thing here as well okay let's save the changes now let's go back to postman let's make a request again and now in the response we are receiving the correct output so the status code is 404 and here also we are receiving movie with id 10 is not found okay but if i make a request with an id with which we have a movie in the movies.json file for example this 5 and if i click on the send button in that case we should receive that movie object in the response but here we are not receiving that movie object so let's again check the issue the problem here is this value is also going to store a string value okay since the value for the id parameter is going to be a string this value is also going to store a string value and we need to convert it to a numeric value for that let's multiply it by one and now let's see if it works let's save the changes here let's go back to postman and there now let's click on the send button and now you will notice that now we are receiving the movie object in the response but here if i say 10 and if i click on the send button in that case we are receiving a 404 error and we are receiving this response if the movie with that particular id is not found same thing if we do here for this update movie okay let's say we want to update a movie with id 5 and there we want to change the name to test 6 okay if i click on this send button we know that we have a movie with this id 5 so when i click on the send button that movie should be updated and in the result we should receive the updated movie object but if i try to update a movie with id let's say 15 in that case we should receive 404 in the response you know the status code with 404 and in the response we should receive this message movie with id 15 is not found all right so this middleware now this middleware which we have created here it is now the part of our middleware pipeline all right now you might argue here that instead of creating a middleware function here we should have created a normal function and using that also we can do this check right and we could have called that function inside each of these functions where we need to check whether we have a movie with that id or not but instead of doing that what we are doing is we are creating a middleware so why is that the answer is of course we can do it like that but since we are using express here in express most of the things which we do we do it through middlewares okay because as i have mentioned earlier express.js is all about middlewares and that's why we are using a middleware function here and we are not creating a normal function all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day